<laughs> hey guys, welcome to Black Room Gaming. I'm your host, Creepy Soul. Okay, first up, we got some news from February the 14th. This was in regards to The Evil Within. We finally got a release date for that one. Uh, so the release date is going to be 26th of August in the US and the 29th of August in Europe and Australia. And that will be released on the PS4, PlayStation 3, Xbox One, Xbox 360 and PC. Next up, from news from February the 15th, we got some Titanfall news um, regarding Xbox One's beta. It's finally been released as a kind of open beta, so anyone can go off and join that. We also have some news regarding Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, the NDA has finally been lifted um, for that, so look for some news. I should have some pictures as well in the uh, in the video. Next up, on February the 17th, we have some news regarding Killer is Dead, which is finally coming to PC platform. Really, really good news. I'm a big PC gamer and I love when companies support the PC platform. So great news there. Next up, we have some news regarding Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark, which has been revealed and due for release later this year. Some more news regarding Metal Gear Solid. It's also been revealed that Metal Gear Solid 5 will run at 1080p on PlayStation 4 and will only run at 720p on Xbox One. Lastly, some news regarding Sega and their dividing of uh, Index Corp, which obviously is the publisher that was behind um, Persona 5 and all the other Persona games. Um, basically, they're dividing the company into two. Atlas will now be the company that does all the gaming development side stuff, and Index Corp will be a, a division, a new division that will pretty much. Um, work on content distribution and like systems development. All right, next up is some news from February the 18th. First up, we got some news regarding the Xbox One February update. Um, it's actually created a new bug for the system, where like you turn your system on and it's a black screen like behind your apps and all your main stuff on the front of the interface. Now they have there is a temporary solution for it. If you restart your system most likely will be fixed but they are working on a permanent fix to fix the problem and more information as it comes in for that um, there's also a ps4 firmware update so I went out to 1.61 and that was just improvements on dvd playback uh, picture quality um, supports various wireless uh, stereo headsets now and allows muting of the playstation cameras microphone and just like software Stability and stuff like that. Next up with some news regarding FIFA's resolution. Now FIFA's due to release next week um, and we've got some resolution news here. For PS4 we're going to be running at 1080p and Xbox One's going to be running at 900p. Next up some news regarding Kingdom Come Deliverance. Now it's going to be coming to Xbox One and PS4 this year hopefully. Um, more Sony news, and Sony saying that their sales of, for the PS4 have surpassed 5 million. So I think now they're up to 5.3 million, which is really cool to see. Um, in the more news, we've got some Irrational Games news. Irrational Games is the developer behind um, Bioshock, Bioshock Infinite, and stuff like that. Um, they have announced that they're closing the studio down, and Ken Levine and 15 staff members are now going to create a new. Uh, studio for 2k um, next up we've got some news from level 5 level 5 is the studio that made um, Nino Kuni uh, and other RPGs like that um, they're asking to, for you guys if you want to see Yo-Kai Watch which is a, D, a 3DS title RPG um, they want you to hit them up on Twitter let them know if you want the game because they're thinking about bringing to the West but they're only going to bring it if you make enough effort say so you want it. Next up we've got some news regarding Ragnarok Odyssey Ace and its release date. Um, release date is going to be April 1 um, in the uh, US and no European date has been confirmed for that one so we'll have to wait for that. 
Next, we've got some information regarding infamous second son. I've got the uh, box art revealed, so it should be a picture in the video of that. Next is some interesting information regarding Deep Down, and uh, you'll only be able to play as a male character apparently, so no female characters uh, apparently will be in the game, so that's very interesting. Next is some stuff regarding Call of Duty Ghosts and the Captain Price uh, personalization packs. They're going to be released on February 29th, so keep a look out for that. Next is some information regarding Towerfall Ascension, which is the Uyu game that's coming across to the PS4. That's going to be released on March the 11th in the US, obviously on PS4. Um, next is some Wolfenstein news. So new Wolfenstein, the new order, has finally got a release date of May the 20th in the US and May the 22nd in Europe. And it will also include a Doom beta code, which is interesting. Now, it's apparently not going to be called Doom 4. All we know is it's going to be called Doom, so that'll be good to see. Next is some news regarding Sacred 3. That's been announced for summer. Released in the US 2014. And it's going to be released on PC and consoles. And lastly, for the 19th, we've got a first look at a new character for Tales of Asteria. Uh, Mikarunu, which is going to be Slay's childhood friend. Um, I should have some pictures of what he looks like in the uh, in the video. Okay, on to news from the 20th. Now, first we've got some daylight news. So we've got a release date here of April the 8th on PS4 and PC. And next is some update on some news from last week, Ar uh, Batman Arkham Origins Blackgate. Now it's been confirmed that it's going to be released for the PS3, Xbox 360, Wii U and PC in April 1 in the US and April 2 in Europe. And last, some more news regarding Microsoft's multimedia controller. So it's basically an update from last week. They've actually announced it now and it's going to be released early March with a retail price of $25. Okay guys, that's it for this week's news. Um, stay tuned, uh, I've got a special video for uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. It's a console um, comparison video, so have a look at that. Um, just make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and keep a look out. I should have a couple of uh, unboxings coming up in the next couple of weeks. Definitely should have um, Tales of Siphonia Collects Edition unbox uh, next week, so keep a look for that. And thanks for watching.